Ethernet over power with Action Tech. This is the Spike Studio product review of Action Tech 200 megabit power line network adapter kit. Spike Studio product review. This time we're back looking at a technology we've looked at before. This is from Action Tech. This is their 200 power line network adapter kit. What this is is Ethernet over power. If you have an area in your home or apartment, wherever it is, that you just can't get a good wireless signal to, an option, and I do say option, could be Ethernet over power. What it lets you do is plug in one of these near your router and plug the Ethernet cable into the router, plug another one into the device you want to connect, be it a PlayStation, Xbox, a laptop, whatever it is that has an Ethernet capability, plug that in over there and then plug the Ethernet into that and you should have a connection. Now, keep in mind there are electrical considerations that are far outside what this technology allows, meaning whole different circuit systems or they're wired through another breaker sometimes. All sorts of oddities could happen, but the good news is you can always send it back. So previously, uh, we had looked at TrendNet. Same option, same idea. In this one, it comes with a nice compact box. If we open it up, we will get two little tiny Action Tech devices. So these devices, as you can see, are very small in size. Uh, both of these will then just simply plug into the wall. There's nothing else you need. Note, plug into the wall. Do not plug these into a power strip. That will interfere. Sometimes they won't work at all. Other times you'll start seeing connectivity drops, bad signal, you must plug these into the wall. So a lot of people love the power strips. You'll have a few indicator lights on there. The first one is power. The second one is link and the third is ethernet. The link light, when both of them are plugged in at opposite places, one at the router and one at whatever device you want, that will link green. So that is your indicator to let you know that they're in sync. These do ship with a config in, in configuration. These do ship with an encryption key that is a default that comes from the company. If you wish to change the encryption key, you have to go to their website to get the instructions. What that means is they're encrypting the data that goes between the two devices, which is pretty cool. But because it's a default, you might want to change it if you're going to be outside your own home. If you're in your own home, it's not a big deal. If you're going to be putting this in at a company or somewhere else, you may want to change it. So what else comes in the box? There's only one other thing that really comes in the box, and that is they include, nicely, two Ethernet cables. So the Ethernet cables are your life saving because a lot of times these products don't come with them. So one of those into the end, plug it into the wall, plug this into an empty port on your router. The same with the other side, you'll plug it into the device and you'll plug this into the wall and into your device. You're done, you're set. From there it should sync up in a matter of seconds and then you should have better speeds. Tess, what did we find out? We found out overall that the performance was better than wireless in a lot of places. Now, if you have a high speed wireless that you have good access to, this is gonna max out, they say 200 over part of it, but 100 megabits, so think 100 megabits. So if you can get better than 100 on your Wi-Fi, one, good for you, <laughs> two, stick with the Wi-Fi, you won't get better. But if you're areas of the house that you can't get anything, or if you're those areas that your signal is just very, very slow, that's what you wanna do. You will not see gigabit in this device. It is not a gigabit supported device. That will not happen, so keep that in mind also. If you have a giggy type connection, you won't see it. We wanna thank Action Tech for sending over the 200 Powerline Network Adapter Kit. Remember, there's nothing to configure, nothing to install. All you need to do is plug it in the walls, wait a few seconds, and it should find it. If it doesn't, make sure you're not plugged into a power strip, and also, you're gonna to have to look at your electrical to make sure you're on the same type of circuit. So what you can do for us is you can subscribe to the product playlist that you see linked above. You can go below and click yes that this video on YouTube was helpful, or even better, click through to Amazon and just let them know by clicking the yes button that our reviews are helpful. Any products you wanna see, please let us know. Otherwise, thanks for watching.